Hi, so I'm reading The Colonel by Carolyn Forche. What you have heard is true. I was in his house. His wife carried a tray of coffee and sugar. His daughter filed her nails. His son went out for the night. There were daily papers, pet dogs, a pistol on the cushion beside him. The moon swung bare on its black cord over the house. On the television was a cop show. It was in English. Broken bottles were embedded in the walls around the house to scoop the kneecaps from a man's legs or cut his hands to lace. On the windows, there were gratings like those in liquor stores. We had dinner, rack of lamb, good wine, and a gold bell was on the table for calling the maid. The maid brought green mangoes, salt, a type of bread. I was asked how I enjoyed the country. There was a brief commercial in Spanish. His wife took everything away. There was some talk then of how difficult it had become to govern. The parrot said hello on the terrace. The colonel told it to shut up and pushed himself from the table. My friend said to me with his eyes, say nothing. The colonel returned with a sack used to bring groceries home. He spilled many human ears on the table. They were like dried peach halves. There is no other way to say this. He took one of them in his hands, shook it in our faces, dropped it into a water glass. It came alive there. I'm tired of fooling around, he said. As for the rights of anyone, tell your people they can go F themselves. He swept the ears to the floor with his arm and held the last of his wine in the air. Something for your poetry, no? He said. Some of the ears on the floor caught the scrap of his voice. Some of the ears on the floor were pressed to the ground. And I did a an, an analysis, and I'm going to do it verbally. So the meaning of the poem is showing how there's so much unnecessary violence that is happening even while people are just living their everyday lives. It is showing that though there are some efforts to change these ways of life, many still advocate for this violence. The colonel is probably kind of an example of this but I see it as him being frustrated with the fact that you know people don't really understand that he has to do this to please the government which just wants power so he says it says um he swept the ears to the floor with his arm and held the last of his wine in the air as if he didn't really care that much about it um, and then the antecedent scenario is what was happening before the poem. So constant war and violence is tearing across the area. It is wreaking havoc on the community and instilling violence into their nature, um, pretty much because of the government. So what is the speaker upset about? The violence. She's advocating for peace and tranquility across the land and an end to the constant battle. Um, and then I did the division of the piece into parts. The piece seems to be separated into two sections. The first half was more focused on the everyday life inside of the home. It says, quote, his daughter filed her nails, his son went out for the night, there were daily papers, pet dogs, a pistol on the cushion beside him, the moon swung bare on its black cord over the house, on the television was a cop show, which is just basic, common, everyday life. And this shows how at the beginning of the poem it's talking about casual life, and then the transition occurs when the colonel throws the ears on the table, which brings violence and despair into the overall mood and story of the setting. So I then decided to analyze the climax, and I think the climax kind of starts when the colonel says, I'm tired of fooling around. He said, as for the rights of anyone, tell your people they can go F themselves, which is obviously a strong statement that could definitely change the mood. Um, this occurs suddenly and is very drastic, and it's a shift in the mood of the story. Or the poem and this is out of pure frustration with people who don't understand why this violence is occurring which is to become powerful as a spanish country and it's all the government's desire um and i commented on the emotional skeleton as well at the beginning um the emotion is rather dry and simple but as the poem kind of goes on tension rises and emotions become much heavier um this happens suddenly like in a piece of music when there's a sudden crescendo um the tone is shifting throughout the poem um at the beginning it's calm and relaxed but then towards the end it's rather like alarming and scary and almost disturbing um especially at the end when it says some of the ears on the floor caught the scrap of his voice some of the ears on the floor were pressed to the ground which is a bit more graphic and just like a lot to think about um lastly i did the roads not taken so if the story would have been told from solely the perspective of the colonel. Maybe we could kind of more understand where he's coming from and empathize with his frustrations about everything that's going on with the government and wealth and power and violence. Because obviously he has a different view from like the people in the house. So it would, 
probably be helpful to get that kind of perspective and it would be pretty interesting I think. And then I also just wanted to add that I think that the ears represent soldiers that have not been giving the justice they deserve. So the women or the woman advocating for them wants them to also hear that you know she wants justice for them and she wants them to get justice. Um, and that's kind of like the whole point of what she's trying to do. So yeah, that was my analyzation of the poem and I hope you liked it.